Hi, this is Seth from Hourglass Escapes, live from the Lunar Gateway. Okay, not really. I know. It's not fooling anybody. We're in Seattle. Anyway, thanks so much for playing The Navigators and The Call from Beyond, our weird, wacky, atomic punk collage art style escape room puzzle game. Now, I realize everybody was like, this is a little weird, and what the heck is up with this music video at the end? But for fans of this art style and retro sci-fi, I think most of you would understand that it all made a lot more sense in that genre. Now, the fun backstory to this game, which I think will explain the difficulty level of the game, which is definitely on the easier side, we realize that, is because a few months ago, right before Christmas, some players from Jet Propulsion Laboratories in NASA, or people that happened to work there, were playing our Evil Dead 2 remote escape room. And we're talking about that they had a big meeting coming up and they wanted to put together a little escape room online game that everybody could be playing from home. And we offered to create something for them uh, just for fun. And that is how this game was born. They had a list of some puzzles they wanted. They, we workshopped everything from the name to the art style with them. And we created this game that they wanted something where f teams of four could be interacting the whole time. And we had already created a similar system uh, where players have their own workspace with our Rise of the Mad Pharaoh uh, avatar game. So we thought this would work really well. And we created a game that was for non-puzzlers, but we wanted it to be interesting and engaging and a little weird because uh, that's what they, they we all kind of like them and us and with the atomic punk art style and our love of retro sci-fi and all the Jack Parsons stories, we thought this would fit in really well. Our wonderful animator, uh, Sam Gaffin, also has, is in and runs the band, The Killer Robots, which is a real band. They actually have some feature films on Amazon Prime that are really, really cool if you like uh, weird atomic surf punk music, which is where the, the end video comes from. Uh, and it might be a little bit reminiscent of Guar, for those who know who that they are. Uh, the Killer Robots even did a bit of a crossover with them at one point. Uh, you'll also notice in the background music, you'll, you will hear people talking. That is real audio from different rocket launches, as well as the golden record that went up with Voyager. We wanted to add the greetings from Earth in the different languages. We thought that would be a fun little weird Easter egg hidden within the game. So anyway, that is the birth of this game and why it was the difficulty level of beginner, really more beginner, is because we wanted something that was going to really appeal to families or non-puzzlers but we wanted it to be interesting enough, and hopefully it was, they, it kept seasoned escape room people and online gamers interested with the art and animation and, and style. I, I really hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully you'll check out some of our other stuff. We will have a Rise of the Mad Pharaoh six-player point-and-click releasing in about a month, and that will use uh, the individual player spaces as well as the main escape traditional escape room online space with 360s and some intermittent videos but that one again will be created to encourage team play by having multiple puzzles happening at once where people do have to interact that's it thanks again i really feel honored to be a part of the escape room olympics and hope everybody had an out of this world time playing our game